Good evening. If you buy groceries or gas, you know prices are up. And if you're thinking, I've never seen prices increase so much so fast, you're probably right. The high cost of gas, food, and services has prices up almost 9% from this time last year. It's the worst inflation in nearly four decades. In response, the stock market took a hit. The Dow Jones dropped almost 900 points. All of this economic news hits one group especially hard. We're talking about seniors. 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco introduces us to one woman living out her golden years, working one job, and worried about needing another. It's been a hard year for 70-year-old Bonnie Gilbert, who lost her husband Craig to COVID-19 last June. Now what am I going to do? I, have not, I know I have to keep working. I know I have to. So I drew my Social Security and that's like, well, now I'm not going to be able to retire because how am I going to retire with just a Social Security? Every day, Gilbert plugs away, working full time as a data processor to pay the bills, stretching her paycheck wherever she can. Today, she organized this garage sale to earn a little extra money. It's hard. It's hard especially with not Craig and now I have to take care of the house and the lawn and I can't afford to pay anybody to do that so I have to do it myself so I have to keep healthy and stay strong so I can do it and still keep working. If prices keep increasing, Gilbert worries she may have to get a second job. Senior policy advisor with AARP David John says seniors have more to watch out for. Loans or credit card rates are likely to take a bigger bite of their budget. It's a matter of uh, making do with a, a bit less. It's a matter of going to possibly work longer, getting another job or some other form of income in there. The other thing to think about going forward is that if you have debt in retirement, the cost of that debt may go up because inflation rates usually mean interest rates go up too. He advises, if you're about to retire, you might consider working longer hours to maximize your Social Security income. You might also want to delay taking your Social Security benefits, since they go up every year until you turn 70. And, he says, watch your investments. Continue to save. If you've been saving at a set amount already, don't stop. And one of the big mistakes that some people make is that when the stock market fluctuates, they move into a safer investment. And that sounds like a good thing, except that what you're really doing is locking in your losses. For Gilbert, she's just holding out hope. Things have to start getting better somewhere. We can't, it can't get worse. The worse it gets, the worse it is for everybody. Some good news for those on Social Security. It looks like next year's cost of living increase will be about 8%, and you'll see that bump starting with checks in January. In the newsroom, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.